is that so we're chapter A in book two incarnation <clears throat> and resurrection. I was proclaimed to be the word incarnate. Who? I. <laughs> oh my God, so good. Thank you guys for coming to these gatherings. That really just quite something. Oh. Um, sorry, I've, I've got book one. I don't have book two. Does anyone have the PDF they could share with me? How do you yeah. have a book one? Yeah, yeah. How do you have a book one? Oh, because someone shared it with me. Book one only. Yep. Yeah, that's what I've got too. Of course, love. Like really? Actual book. Yeah. Um, hang on, Andrew. I'll... Oh, like the book book itself. PDF. The whole book. <clears throat> no, he's talking about PDF. Anyway, uh, Cameron will send it to you. Here we go. Unless it's part he'll, of the same PDF. It will send you the whole lot. It okay. could be part of the same PDF. If I send it to you in the first place, Andrew, it'll be the... Ch chapter 8, is it the House of Truth? Mm -mm. No. Incarnation and Resurrection. Okay. No, I don't have it. The House of Truth. Sorry. House of Truth, what's that? You got House the right. of Truth is further on, so you sh should have the whole lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, so probably just go further along, Andrew. The, um... What was the name of the chapter? The territory of incarnation and resurrection. It's like it's you have PDF. See if you can go to page two five five. Oh. I think that's where it shows up on mine. Mm. Out of seven twenty. <clears throat> My grandchild arrived last night. Oh, congrats! <laughs> oh, congratulations! Yeah. Finally. Is that your first one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Granny. My poor daughter had 20 hours of labour and he, he wouldn't come out, so oh, I had yeah. to dra drag him out by cesarean. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, but they're all, they're both good, so, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Has he already uh, got a name? Uh, Benji. Oh, oh Benji. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Dale la lucha, Benji. <laughs> Welcome to the light. Yes. Yeah. So I've got chapter eight, the belief no relationships are special. No. Incarnation <laughs> 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 and resurrection. There is about in a book two. Incarnation and resurrection. Did Maybe you say? type in incarnation and resurrection in yep. a search. All right. Here we go. In got my it. book, it's I got page it. 222. Oh. 222, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. Awesome. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for getting me, getting me on. All right. Let's go for it. Page. I was proclaimed to be the word incarnate. The union of the human and the divine, the manifestation of the will of God. I have told you that you are no different than I was. Can you bear it, guys? Mm -hmm. I have told you, you are no different than I was. Now, I call you to be no different than I am. As a man, I suffered, died, and was buried. As who I am, I resurrected. I am the resurrection and the life. Say it. I am the resurrection, the resurrection. and the life. Who? I am. <laughs> the life. Who? I am the resurrection mm -hmm. and the life. That's to begin to own this thing. It's going to take a while until it sinks in that it's there's no one out there. 
These are just stories to help us to remember who we truly are. I am the resurrection and the life. This would be like the daily lesson. Until it hits you where that is in you. <laughs> that will make you indescribable happy, indescribably happy. What I was in life was the manifestation in form of the will of God. Excuse me, Cole, uh, where are we? We are chapter eight, incarnation and resurrection. We started again. Okay, and we're right at the beginning then, aren't we? We are oh, at okay. eight two. Okay. Halfway through. But Thank you. with my resurrection, which was accomplished for all, the meaning of life, the reality of life changed. Though you have no known this not. The great experiment in separation ended with the resurrection. The uh, Though you have not known this, you have known this not. For the resurrection and life are now one and the same. Wow. Mm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way. Yeah, salvation comes from me and only me. Anybody else? 8.3? Oh, go yeah. oh. You go, you go, go Granny. Go, Granny. Yeah, Lee had a hand. Yeah, granny. <laughs> that they are the same has not meant the automatic realization of this change of enormous proportions. Mm. The very nature of change is one of slow realization. Change occurs all around you every day without your realization of it. Only in retrospect are the greatest of changes seen. Thus, the understanding of the truth of an historical event changes over time and it may take a hundred or a thousand or even 2,000 years for the real truth to be realized. Even though many versions of the truth have been accepted previously, there is only one truth. There was only one truth at the time the event or change took place. And there is only one truth in time or eternity, regardless of the variety of interpretations of the truth. Mm. I have come to you now to reveal the one truth that has existed for the past 2000 years without your comprehension of it. The nature of life changed with the resurrection. I am the resurrection and the life. So are you. Would you like to go now, Andrew? Sure. Thank you. As I no longer suffer 
the separation, you need no longer suffer the separation. Mm. Mm. Wow. Even though the resurrection returned not life to the form I once occupied, mm. it returned me to you in the form of the resurrected Christ who exists in all of you, bringing resurrection even unto your forms. I became the word incarnate upon my resurrection rather than upon my birth. This will seem confusing given your definition of incarnation as the word made flesh. You took this to mean that flesh took on the definition of the word or the almighty when I became flesh and bone through birth. But neither my birth nor my death were consequent with the word as the word is I am. The word is life eternal. My resurrection brought about the word made flesh in each of you. Beautiful, huh? Mm. You who have come after me are not as I was, but as I am. Yeah. Does this not make sense? Even in your human terms of evolution, you are the resurrected and the life. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful? Wow, that's that sink in. I am the resurrected and the life. <laughs> it was already accomplished and it's accomplished in all of us. That's the crazy thing. You are the accomplished. Arr. Not the way you think you are, <laughs> the way you are. <laughs> How beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. read this last chapter mm -hmm. how does this relate to your thinking you have been reborn as god man as god and man united mm. yes the resurrection is the cause and effect of the union of the human and divine. This is accomplished. This is, in effect, the way in which the man Jesus became the Christ. This is, in effect, the way. very synchronistic with the time of year mm. <laughs> yes oh, you know, the, it's like the magnitude of it is totally incomprehensible that's it <laughs> you know 
Somebody said that the early Christians didn't call themselves Christians. They were the people of the way. Wow, beautiful. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Wow. Let's do it. We are the people of the way. The way. It feels better. It's easier yeah. to comprehend, isn't it? That's beautiful. Because it's it's like a moving, flowing thing, isn't it? It's not like mm. a concrete, you know, thing. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Love it. Mm. Mm. Good. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that feels so right. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful how that book takes us into an experience? Just mm. oh, just takes something takes over. Hey, yeah, right after you said we are the way, mm -hmm. it started pouring. It started pouring here in Portland, pouring rain, and I mm -hmm. just felt like oh, like just such a cleansing. <laughs> beautiful. Mm. just don't on us the separation there is such a thing as separation from god it only has to be feeling the separated within the self mm. once that becomes accomplished you can't even think of god as separate it's just not in your vocab well too it is like a washing away or a uh, a letting go in a way that's that's so gentle you know what I mean like it's not how gently I'm not like I'm not trying to accomplish anything I'm actually trying to let go of all all that covered it beautiful beautiful mm -hmm. would you like to read on while you're there sure now how could one man's resurrection be the way or even a way? How can resurrection provide a path or example for you to follow? You must see the link between resurrection mm -hmm. and incarnation. The link between resurrection and the birth of the God man. The heart and mind joined in union accomplished the reunion of the separated self with God. The resurrection was evidence of this accomplishment. 
it laid aside death's claim and with it the claim of all that is temporary. Mm -hmm. The resurrection was witnessed as the proof required. Much as proof has been offered to you now in the form of miracles. Mm -hmm. How could one rise from the dead and others not follow? Illusion is the death you need but arise from. Ooh. Jesus. Ooh. <laughs> I'll say I'll read that one. Illusion is the death you need but arise from. Arise and awaken to your resurrected self. This is no longer a, a godhead to follow into paradise. Take not the example of any of these and know instead the example of woman, of Mary, mother of God. I'll just read one more. What is mother but she who incarnates? Make spirit flesh through her own flesh. Make spirit flesh through union. That you have, in your version of creation, made it necessary for woman to join with man in order for new life to come forth. Is but another example of how your memory of creation was made to serve what you would have come to be. Mm. Mm. The separated... Oh, my God. <laughs> Old concepts. The separated self could not exist in separation and so created a way in which other oh God, other separated forms could come into existence and live with you in separation. Wow. That you recognize union as a prerequisite to creation is proof of your memory's tenacity and the failure of illusion to completely rid you of what you know. Ooh, I'll stop there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <'Cause> that's, <laughs> that's loaded. Mm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Wow. That's pretty mind blowing. You got it. That's it. Mm. Shall I carry on? Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, darling. The virgin birth was thus a necessary step in the reclaiming of the real act of creation, the bringing forth of the new through union with the divine self. Whether you believe the virgin birth was reality or myth <clears throat> matters not, as myth and reality have no concrete distinction in the illusion within which you live. In other words, you live as much by myth as by truth, and myth often more accurately reflects the truth than what you would call real. This is not a call, however, to embrace myth, but to embrace the truth. Wow. Mary is called upon now as the myth 
to end all myths, for in this example, life alone is the key to the riddle provided. You are each called to return to your virgin state, to a state unaltered by the separation, a state in which what is begotten is begotten through union with God. It is from this unaltered state that you are free to resurrect mm. as I resurrected. It is through Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sure. Yes, yes. It is through the Blessed Virgin Mary's resurrection in form that the new pattern of life is revealed. I heard somebody say this morning that a blessing means something has changed. Mm -hmm. Mm, beautiful, huh? The new pattern of life is the ability to resurrect in form. The ability to resurrect in life. The ability to resurrect now. Really? Now. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. So One more beyond, sentence. It goes so beyond interpretation, right? Like you can't, you can't mm. find words for these experiences, you know, because we yeah. actually are returning to this virgin state that we were originally created, and that begins to flow in us again, like a river of life. And that's that, you know. All your emotions begin to move. All your feelings become alive, and. You begin to virtually resurrect as you are, even in the physical. It's so tangible because every cell begins to vibrate in the speed of light. And then you begin to even feel the, the elevation of the form <clears throat> is no longer a dense and rigid. Thank you. That was so beautiful. Thank you for your tears. They are mm -hmm. so real. They the connection, yeah. There's something for me about Mary. There's always been something for me about Mary. 
and you know, like he's what he's. It sounds like he's saying without Mary resurrecting, he couldn't mm -hmm. have come through and resurrected. So she started it. Yes. With her union. Yes. See, we we have our, our in our feeling realm, we have feelings we named, and so they are blessed by perception. But at the core of feeling is the virgin state of being that's always there forever. It can, it will always be virgin. It cannot be changed. No matter what you mm. think, no matter what the perceptions are, that part of us can never see and can never, it's the same as the core saying, you know, but it's deep within. It's not in here somewhere. It's deep within mm. us where the birth comes from, which is yeah. where, where your birthing organs are even so the light begins to vibrate all the way from the bottom up yeah that's mm. resurrection because it's not just in your head and you have like this new inspiring ideas but entering the state of this virgin expression that we've forgotten but it's forever there but mary is crucial that's why Mary's taken out of Bible <laughs> in a way, you know, she's mentioned mm -hmm. there just some kind of like a <clears throat> second wheel. Mm. Mm. How beautiful. Yeah. I love this. You are each called to return to a virgin state, to a state unaltered. <laughs> By the separation, see, it can be altered anyway. A state in which that is begotten is begotten through union with God. It is from this unaltered state that you are free to resurrect as I resurrected. Mm. It's Jesus speaking, right? It is through the Blessed Virgin Mary's resurrection in form that the new pattern of life is revealed. I mean, hello. Yeah. You want to read a little bit more, honey? <coughs> no, read the next sentence. Please. Mm -hmm. Thus is the glory that is yours. Thus is the glory that is yours returned to you in life rather than in death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. Next. Mm, wow. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Anthony, would you like to give it a go? 816. I'm feeling a lot, quite a lot now. Yeah, right no yeah I feel like I pushed Jesus and God away so much that mm -hmm. oh, it gets so painful mm -hmm. blessed man I can feel mm -hmm. the part that is one with Jesus but I feel the part that is just pushed all my life Yes. <laughs> so, and so much sh fucking shame, just shame. Feel so, I feel so ashamed of pushed yeah. and alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Life is pushing through you right now. Like that's a birth, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds like a resurrection. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, like I'm on a cross, but freaking hell. Like, God, why have you forsaken me? He goes, what are you talking about? I'm not forsaken you. I'm resurrecting you. Come on home. I'm forsaken. <laughs> I feel Stop judging the situation and come to, come to daddy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Like Kim's grandson, not wanting to come out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so fucking stubborn. I'm so stubborn. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the nurses said he was stubborn. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like, no. even by cesarean, they had to get the forceps, apparently, to get him out. Oh Can you believe God. that? He wasn't yeah. ready yet. Oh, no, go away. Oh, I don't want to be here. Are you kidding me? It's not this place again. Uh -huh. Amazing. <laughs> mm. oh. Big hug. Beautiful. God, this is so beautiful. Yeah. These words sort of like really unhinge me, which is good. It's good. I can feel. Oh, wow. yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, the mail. Mm. We up to eight sixteen. Yes, yeah. The mail provided the manifestation or the effect of the cause created by the female in the virgin birth. My mother Mary was responsible for the incarnation of Christ in me. Wow. Yeah. As I am responsible for the incarnation of Christ in you. <laughs> oh my God. This union of male and female is but union of the parts of yourself form and story expressed in other words in the visual pattern that aids your understanding of the invisible wow mm. how he gives you like visuals just so you can see begin to see the invisible <laughs> Oh. It is one more demonstration of the union that returns you to your natural state. It is one more demonstration of cause and effect being one in truth. It is one more demonstration of what needs to occur now in this time in order for the truth of the resurrection to be re revealed and lived. Mm -hmm. We have talked thus far of union of the heart and mind. Least you think that this union is not all encompassing. We will reflect a moment here on how the art of thought brings all of you all you have you know, brings all you have seen as parts of the self such as male and female conception and action inspiration and manifestation together into the wholehearted god Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a big chapter. <laughs> Massive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
popular image comes to my mind of Christ with the big heart and the light pouring out of it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm. But that heart to, to actually move could got to go all the way down to the Virgin Mary state, which is all the way down where the birth center is. Mm. It's, it's amazing that you brought up that birth today. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny coincidence, hey? It is. <laughs> when, the, when the light ignites in what we call, or sometimes we call it the chakras, when we when the light begins to ignite in lower chakras, we are often judged as as earthy and you know, like oh, it's mm -hmm. just it's just earth stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. That's exactly where it has to happen. Disappears in the clouds, well, whatever. <laughs> Do that as long as you need to, until that turbo energy, that kind of deep, deep light happens to happen in this lowest of our vibration, the slowest of the vibration. Actually, in the, in the Course of Miracles, in Lesson 47, Jesus says, go below, down below your churning of your mind into the kingdom of heaven. It oh. virtually points us that way, that way, rather than above into some kind of amorphous clouds of unreachable height that's never seemed to be just right here. Mm. That's why I keep always saying like drop your chin, drop your chin and look down because it's that way. It's not above, it's not, it's not above. It's almost like that separated mind's trying to skip a step and just yes, you like know. Separated mind remembers a little bit of light, grabs it, steals it, and goes like it's that way. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> like people often point to God as as up there somewhere, mm -hmm. and it's just like that total illusion of you know, that the salvation comes from me and nowhere else. And where is me? Right here. One self. Mm. One self. Yes. I can feel, okay, I'm much more down here, but in my heart, but then there's so much, <laughs> there's a bit of pain there. A bit of Yes. Sam is, <laughs> Sam is the, he actually explains it. Um, it's like Sam is, as mind has judgments, the heart holds bitterness. Ooh. There is also blocks in the heart, you know, and massive blocks all the way down for sure. Mm. But we got to start somewhere. So usually like the core starts really upstairs working with the mind. It's all in the masculine. Then you start dropping in deeper until you reach this Mary state. Virgin Mary, that's why she's called Virgin. It's like you will begin to experience feelings you did not know there existed. Mm. Like I've never, I've never felt a peaceful heart as much as I have this last year. Like, mm -hmm. heart is. I used to try to get my mind, still, but my heart is still. It's really it's such a. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It's beautiful, huh? It's different. So different for me. And so lovely because you bring this transparency of every little twinge of annoyance in you, every little every little thing, you make it visible and you go like, here it is, I'm feeling shame, I'm feeling this, and you make it visible so it can be dispelled by light. I mean, not even dispelled, more like eased off, you know? Mm -hmm. Made it less dense. Mm, it's, you know, it's, we, we slow it's like, ourselves down into this physical form and, and we don't know how to speed ourselves back up again. Hey, Kim. It's another Kim. Nice to meet you, darling. There's another two Kims here now. <laughs> One's a grandmother. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Kim. The more Kims, the better, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, Anthony, it's like when you express those feelings, they can be totally loved when they're mm. expressed in that way. It's mm. so beautiful. Yeah. They are. And I can love them too. Mm. I can feel. Well, That's okay. <laughs> that, is, that is the ultimate forgiveness because it's always self-forgiveness. Like the world mm. only triggers these emotions and then we don't want to show these emotions so we're trying to forgive the brother out there. Yeah, and that's the trap because he's just an effect reflecting to us what's denied in us. So then the forgiveness is always self-forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Like what did the brother trigger in me? And then thank you. And let's begin to resurrect that which is dense within us. And where are you triggered? When you get triggered, where do you feel it? It's not in your head, is it? <laughs> in your head is your reaction, reacting something. But your real trigger is either in your heart or in your gut. <laughs> when you attack it and then you're trying to forgive your brother. Ah, trap. Forgiving, 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 and it becomes a circle of never-ending forgiveness. Oh, just another forgiveness opportunity. Lala. Oh, right. So it can't be resurrected in that moment. It, it, it has to be, be in the flesh, in your own flesh. In your own flesh, all the way down oh, to right. your feet. Everywhere you find yourself. Feet, feet, feet. See? It becomes a deep experience of like cellular transformation. Every cell no. in your body, even your little toes, is going to beam light. Yeah? Every part of you. No. Nice. Yeah. Mm. I, I suddenly feel how those, all those, all that denied stuff, all it wants is to be, all I want to be is loved. That's all. That's you know? It. And he mm. never received love. So our feelings, they look like a bruise than, a, than anything mm. divine. It's like, oh, not this bruise itself again. Let me resurrect. Let me get out of here. None of this is real, blah, blah, blah. No. Mm. Yeah. Check this out. Giving and receiving. The art of thought is not possible without a return to the virgin and unaltered self. Do, do, do. The practice of the art of thought is what will complete the return began through the coursework of a course of love, which is the book one, right? That we just completed not long ago. Mm -hmm. This will bring about the union of male and female, of conception and action, of inspiration and manifestation. This mm. is what we have been speaking of when speaking of miracle mindedness and miracle readiness. This is wholeheartedness and is achieve through mindfulness yeah, <laughs> yeah. like ding <laughs> he really stresses that word practice too the practice of the art of thought is yeah. what will complete the return. Exactly. The practice. So it's all very well knowing about it, knowing what yeah. it is and all that stuff, but you actually have to do it. Mm -hmm. It's like eventually it says like none of your thoughts, none, not one is required for this. None. When he says in the course of miracles, these thoughts do not mean anything. It's not like some do because they sound holy. All of them, including the most amazing little lines that the theology suggests, just to dislodge this madness. <laughs> yeah. How beautiful. Mm -hmm. I dedicate all thoughts to union. 
including the ones I just said. Whether you be male or female matters not, as you are in truth, the union of each. Ooh. Yes. The end of separation that brought about the resurrection, brought about this union and the separation of male and female continues to exist only in form. However, we are talking now in a certain sense of an elevation of form, right? Like Anthony, can you feel how it, when it moves, it's all, oh, that's elevation. Mm -hmm. You yeah, my the body. Meaning, and you're trying to suppress those emotions. You are you are suppressing your elevation. Yeah, oh. Alison, where you dropped in, that was elevation because it just brings us back into the grief of being in a separation for this long, as we remember. Isn't that beautiful? However, mm -hmm. we are talking now in a certain sense of an elevation of form it has to be physical while this is actually an elevation beyond form it must begin in the reality where you think you are in other words it must begin with form mm -hmm. you cannot <laughs> await some change state but must create the change state you await There's no escape. There's no escape. Mm -hmm. You are used to creating in our in outward way. Yeah, you get I get an idea and you make some stuff. But one one of the few exceptions to this outward creation is the act of giving birth. Oh my <laughs> God, Kim, that's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Go, Benji. <laughs> oh my God, go, Benji, exactly. At birth, like all outward manifestation, but reflects inner change. The growth of a new being within the womb is another of another, is a visible manifestation of gestation, which is the prelude to resurrection. I mean, my God. Ooh. Oh. That's why birth, you know, when you, have you ever been present at the birth? Like, what a moment. Mm. Isn't it? It's like, what a moment in life. What was once part of the mother and father that would have died without the joining that occurred within becomes a new life. Mm. Now we are asked to carry new life, not in a womb, but in a united mind and heart. Uh, I know. I'm an old retired obstetrical nurse. <laughs> it is it's just amazing. Everybody just wants to hold that baby and look at him. Mm. And one of the things I I noticed at one point, the minute the baby's born, everybody waits for it to breathe. Everybody holds their breath. Everybody in the room holds their breath until the baby breathes. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. Wow, because, yeah, that's like God yeah. coming into the world, isn't it? Oh, yes, wow. I remember that. I remember. I was. I. I caught my son in my hand. My God. Oh. <laughs> he also didn't want to come out. We took about forty-eight hours. Oh, it was uh, crazy. That's a long time. Yeah, but we had this new age nurse. <laughs> we had these doulas. You know. Don't worry oh. about it. Dun, 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 dun. Eventually, we ended up in emergency, like in a hospital. 
and it comes this young lady who says, all right, let's get this thing out. And, you know, within a couple of hours, he was born like, we needed something that came and go like, bam, you know, stop this freaking voodoo and woo woo. Oh. Let's bring this thing out. It was like so necessary. It was incredible. Wow. You know, we had the pool and we had this doula and like, oh, it's like, yes. I just needed this energy that just came in like, let's give this a birth, right? It's beautiful to see. Mm -hmm. A new age is so obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on, guys. 9.6, anyone? Let us consider why birth has been the purview of women and males have been incapable of giving birth. Let me read that again, please. Mm -hmm. Let us consider why birth has been the purview of women and males have been incapable of giving birth. This is because in your version of creation, there needed to be a giver and a receiver. You knew that giving and receiving makes one in truth. Mm -hmm. This is your recreation of this universal truth. Mm -hmm. You remembered that something does not come from nothing, and that nothing is all that exists without relationship. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh. Yet, you have not remembered that the first union is of mind and heart. The first union is union with the self. This union with the self is resurrection or rebirth. All are capable of this life-giving union. You could say that again. Mm -hmm. All are capable of this <laughs> life-giving union. <laughs> All are capable of birthing the self. Mm -hmm. But what then of the necessary act of giving and receiving? In this birth of the self, who is the giver and who is the receiver? In order for the self to be birthed, giving and receiving must be one in truth. Mm -hmm. Yet it seems there must be one to give and one to receive. You have long waited to receive what you have thought could come only from some other. I'm going to read that again, please. You have long waited to receive what you have thought could only come, could come only from some other. Mm -hmm. Your churches are but evidence of this as you seek from religion an intercessor. Intercessor, yeah. Mm -hmm one to facilitate for you this receiving or communion. Only through the Christ within you does this giving and receiving become one in truth. Wow. It was right there. Maybe read that again. <laughs> Only. <laughs> yes. Only. To the Christ within. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
only to the Christ. Within you does this giving and receiving become one in truth. Like you can see the person or you can see the Christ within. So even now, look at, pick someone in a screen and just allow the Christ to be revealed. And for that to see, these eyes are not going to help you much. But something else you begin to see with. That's the one you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see the Christ in another person, something else has to see it. And that's, that is actually the vision. You heard that mm -hmm. word vision in Course in Miracles, right? A lot. Yeah, it took me something like 29 years to get to that vision is what it is. It's a completely different thing than I imagined for a long time. And it's just that very thing that the heart explodes open and it begins to see through its own eyes. And it uses language that does not use words cannot create conflict. Hmm. Only see as whole. I said the other day, you know, you either see something as whole or an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Same word. <laughs> and it's just that simple. Like, what am I seeing? Yeah. Am I seeing wholeness or not? Mm -hmm. here comes Jesus this is beautiful who's next I'm next oh. uh, I'm next but before um, Chantel put a beautiful picture today mm. of my spirit and I just focus my attention on the picture it's my picture <laughs> In the center of the picture, I got lost there. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Nine nine. As I as I awaited my death, mm. I was given the gift of knowing what will come to be through my resurrection. Wow. This I tried to pass on in the simplest of terms. I try to make it known that while I will die and resurrect into a new form, you will also. What? I'm going to repeat it again. This I try to pass on in the simplest of terms. I try to make it known that while I will die and resurrect into a new form, you will also. That this new form will exist within you. That you will become the body of Christ and giving and receiving will be complete. You are the body of Christ. Bingo. I am the body of Christ. No, 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 no. I am the body of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what will it mean to bring about the union of the male and female of conception and action, of inspiration and manifestation? I'm going to repeat it again. What will it mean to bring about the union of the male and female of conception and action, of inspiration and manifestation? It will mean union <sighs> in a time of miracles. It will mean that you are the living body of Christ. What are you? The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so is everyone else. Yes. 
And in seeing it in everyone else, we awaken that in ourselves. Mm -hmm. One more. In the broadest of terms, this is already happening. As the ego has become threatening and allowed the coming of guidance, males and females both have begun to work with the parts of themselves over which the ego has the least control. For males, this has most often meant a turning away from the intellectual realm, which was ruled by the ego, to the realm of feelings. For females, this has most often meant a turning away from the feeling realm where their egos held most way toward the intellectual. This instinctual turning toward an opposite has been made to serve you through the intersection of the Holy Spirit. In turning within rather than without to find what you need to free you from the ego's reign, you have turned toward holiness in the same way that embracing both the male and female attributes within you causes emerging of both in holiness to be achieved. So to thus a holiness then come about with conception and action inspiration and manifestation mm -hmm. i'm complete so am i my god guys this is pretty good eh so we mm -hmm. just maybe park it there for mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. i even reread this again because this is just exquisite just can you see how that's where it hits the you know Gorgeous. I like that holiness is wholeness. Mm. That was beautiful. Yes. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Puts it so plainly, yet so powerfully, a eh? art of thought. <laughs> I feel pregnant. I feel pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> now, when someone tells us to go fuck yourself, there's a whole new uh, way of looking at it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
It's like, oh, anytime, darling. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. There goes the way of Mary. Hmm? Mary. Mm. Without Mary, there is no Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they also sometimes call her the, the mother of God, right? She creates mm. that which is then present. She births that. And in a man woman relationship, that so when man goes out of his head, he becomes present. That will make the female open and it gets impregnated by this presence and reflected back by the birth of it. And then some amazing union becomes even between men and women right now as we are. And that becomes the man gives, she receives it, and then she gives it back, he receives it. So that's what the male and female, we have both in us. And as the male receives it, he becomes even more present because she's birthing the new moment, right? Mm. He becomes even more present. And then she becomes even more open to birth more of that new presence. She will reflect it. Mm. And it becomes mm. always a union, even between men and women. Giving. Here, now, not one day when it's all done. It's giving. now. Giving. Mm -hmm. Receiving. And you find yourself vibrating, you know, in a completely different speed of light. Yeah. And you feel, as male, you feel so resurrected, and women, females will just feel so relaxed in that state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so birth like ready, miracle readiness. Birthing the, the new Christ. Yeah. All right, darlings. Should we leave it at that? Yeah, just a reminder to the daylight saving changes tomorrow in Melbourne. So everyone that's not mm -hmm. Melbourne, Sydney, it starts an hour later next week. Mm -hmm. So America, Canada, Europe, wherever you're from. Queensland. Yeah. But when's it happening? Uh, tomorrow for us. So it's yeah, it's the same for us here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you changing to Alison? Um same as us, exactly uh, the same. Same. Okay. It'll be the same. All right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So tomorrow our class will be at five here? If it was if it, yeah, if it was four this morning, or this, if it was a four today, then it'll be a five for you. Thank you. Yeah, just yeah. add an hour, come late. Huh. Come an hour later. All right, darlings. And for morning, get, uh, a course of miracle lesson, the same thing, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you for coming. Thank you for thank you. Thank you for making yourself trust. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. So beautiful. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Kim, for popping in. Yeah, Kim. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. The new Kim. Kim. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Ciao. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Ciao.